Welcome fellow explorers to the friendly forest. Today we're learning about fish. We're gonna try to catch one. Now, when you catch a fish on a hook, it doesn't necessarily harm them enough to catch them. Oh, got one. So we're gonna observe this fish closer. This fish that I'm holding right now is called a mackerel. Many people use this for bait, and some people even eat these fish. How you can tell that it is a mackerel is by their very prominent marking on top. It's almost like a tiger, but it has greens and like purples inside. And when you look at the sun, you can see the coloring. There's like purple up there, green. It's a very beautiful fish. And on the bottom, it will have silver. That is how you tell it is a mackerel. Did you know sharks are the only fish that have eyelids? So this fish does not have eyelids. If you look at his eyes, he will never blink. So we're gonna talk about <laughs> how fish breathe. So fish breathe out of gills. Now you can see these little flaps right here. These are his gills. So the gills exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide with the water so that he can breathe. And that's how they breathe, along with sharks and all sorts of other types of fish. All fish have gills. All fish are ectothermic, meaning that they are cold-blooded. Humans are warm-blooded. Cold blood is also called ectothermic. And cold-blooded is when they cannot regulate their body temperature. So when they go in cool waters, their body temperature will be cool. And when they go in warm waters, their body temperature will be more warm. All fish have a swim bladder. The swim bladder helps them to maintain a stable buoyancy in the water so that they neither sink nor float too much. And when they are sleeping, they won't sink to the bottom. That is what the swim bladder is for. When you touch a fish, it is very slimy. That is the mucus that is produced under the scales. Now the mucus helps the fish glide through the water, so when it's swimming, it can go super fast. Another um, use for the mucus is when a predator will try to grab onto it, it won't easily be able to grab on it because it is slimy, so it'll slip. Scales are a protective coating for fish, much like a shield of armor. A lot of the time when you pick up a fish, the scales will come onto you. Now this fish is not giving me any scales at all. That is what protects the fish from things like fungi growing on it and parasites. Thanks for watching Exploring the Friendly Forest with Mark. This is Exploring the Friendly Forest and Beyond.